So today we're having a look at the Grouse V Plus, which is the newest pop-up hide from Tragopan. Now Tragopan has a long range of this pop-up hide, but this is the newest version with the updated camouflage pattern, which is a little bit more faded than the other ones. Also has this black coating on the inside. And one thing which makes this probably the most versatile pop-up hide out there is this. Stay tuned to the end, I'll show you what I'm talking about. First, let's have a look at how to set up the hide, how to take it down, and all the features that go along with it. So, it comes in a small package. You can easily, you know, throw it over your shoulder, you can carry it on your back, or attach it to a backpack. Really designed to be lightweight, easy to take with you out into the field. Roughly about 50 centimeters diameter. So opening up the hide, take this strap off. You can see here it's attached to the hide, so you're not gonna lose it. Grab one edge, you let go, and up it goes. Open it up like a book, grab into the middle part, and pull out the other edge. Putting the hide back together again, take one corner towards the other corner on the inside of it, like this and it very nicely just folds right up on itself. Now, what I like to do here is take the bottom and the top part, push them toward each other like this, grab them with one hand, and already now you can kind of see that it's starting to fold and twist in the way it's supposed to go. I put that on my knee, grab top part here, and like put a, pull it into the middle, and you can kind of get a feel here that it's folding, it's folding itself up almost for you. It's doing most of the job for you. It is a very simple hide to put up and also take down. Sometimes it feels a little bit awkward, it's a bit unusual how to put it back together again, but it is very simple. Just give it a couple of goes and you'll kind of get a feel for how it wraps itself up. Then you just want to find the attached, this part and wrap it back around. And there we go. You can take pictures out from all sides of the hide, but it is designed with one main side of the hide. That's gonna be your main shooting window. And also the door is quite a good option to using as a shooting window if you wanna see more out of the hide. But I'll show you that in a little bit. The main shooting window now is gonna be in that direction and we got the opening in the back. So once you set up the hide in the direction you want to be facing most of the time, you want to attach it to the ground. And we've got four pegs that goes in each corner of the hide. And if it is windy, there's also four guy wires which you can attach to the sides. So we'll do that now just to show you guys how to set that up. The bag itself, it's got a pretty handy zip pocket up the front. And that's where you can put all the poles and the guy wires themselves just to attach that hide to the ground. So first, I'm just gonna grab four of them and we'll put down each corner of the hide. Now, in the halfway up along the side of the hides, you have this little loop and that's where you attach the guy wires. You see in one end, it has this little kind of device, so it's easy to put the pole through here. So I like to tie the other end to here. Using this little device here, open up the loop, put the pole through it, and tighten it good. What you'll find around the hide as well, it has 12 of these little cords, which you can tie bits of vegetation to, just to camouflage the hide even more. Well, what you also find in the bag is two aluminum poles for 
the ceiling and I just give it that extra bit of structure and it's really handy if it rains a bit so the rain just bounces off a bit easier instead of gathering in a pool or anything like that up in the roof. So let's put those on next. Just like any old tent these just come right attach right into each other like that. So the way I like to do it is to put it before don't put it into the hole at the bottom first. Let it go all the way down so you can get it through the loop on the other side first. Tragopan cockless chair is my go-to one for this hide. As you can see here, it sits quite low. So it's really handy, which really you know, feels quite roomy and spacious to sit inside. And you've got these big pockets on each side. You, know, you can put binoculars or whatever, food, drinks, whatever you need inside there. So now it's time to have a closer look at the Grouse V Plus and really how the different ways that we can use it for wildlife photography. Now, as we've seen here, this is the one entrance which has the door. But if we close this up, you can also see here that it's a separate window, which leaves this whole mesh window open. You can really get a lot more visual space. I mean, basically this whole side becomes a place where you can see through. And there's two zippers here, so you can open up, put a lens through here if you want to photograph through here. And there are two windows on either side. They're exactly the same, but this one also has a little handy little pocket for you to put stuff. And let's have this little peephole. So it's two layered, one camouflage bit, non-see-through. And there's a little attachment here where you can kind of fold it over there and you can look through this mesh, or you can take the mesh off as well fold that over. If you want to photograph through this window, best way to do that, unzip it. And here we still have a bit of cover with this mesh and a little slit through here where you can poke out a lens. This can come off as well if you want it to have this completely open. For the front main shooting window, we have three options. And you get these three accessories with the hide when you buy it. And one of them is kind of similar to what we have on the side window. And it's this mesh with the slit in the middle. Then we have, as you see here, attaches to the window and it's complete mesh for your lens. And a similar one, but completely opaque, completely camouflaged, you can't see through it, but it has this little additional hole here where you could use that to just look through you can you know you can attach a speed light or anything like that to it here's the front window itself it has attached these windows that are used in all the other tragopan hides right now you can see here in the middle here we can open this kind of peek through it or you can put a lens through it the great thing about this is that you can have this closed and you can change windows you can change the different window solutions while having this closed so you could be in the hide you can stay camouflaged but still change the windows so now let's say i want to use the mesh one which is usually the one i would go for but obviously it depends a little bit what you're photographing if you're photographing you know birds that are really wary and will see you really easily or if you want to cover up with even more smell you know something like this could be could be probably the best option Line it up so the camouflage is out. And then you see you've got these little clips. And we just attach it in. So underneath here, there's a clip for the main kind of window that's attached to the hide. Undo that on either side. And then we use these drag it up. Use these straps here, 
and get it all the way up. We can take this thing here and just, I don't know, put it around there just so it's out of our way. Say you wanted to change the window now, but you don't want to open up and expose yourself like this. And the idea is that you can, you can basically take the main window, loosen it, and drag it down. Reattach it. Now we can take this window off and we can attach a different one. Now this window has four sips. There are a lot of ways, different ways you can use this, but the main, main way is to close it all the way and then you use the two sips here in the middle, open up a little bit and put your tripod leg through. So now I'm going to show you guys why this hide has become really versatile and we're going to put on this. And this is the awning that you can buy for the Tragopan V6 and it basically extends the hide. It'll make the hide larger and will make it room enough for you to lie down inside. And that, as you probably all know, is a really big thing in wildlife photography because a lot of wildlife is down on the ground and ideally we want to get down on the ground there with them to photograph at eye level gives us that better perspective eye level intimate view and it's also easier to blur out our backgrounds and foregrounds so here it is this is the awning that you can buy separate for the v6 but now of course you can get it for this as well and i would highly encourage you to get it because it just makes this hide so much more adaptable for more situations in wildlife photography so go for the broader side You'll have these hooks and you just find the loops that are on the back here. Plenty of room down here now, at the bottom of the hunt. And obviously, quite handily, we can use these, you know, the windows for up top. No need to attach them or anything. We just use them for extra camouflage and we'll then poke our lens out. This really changes the usefulness of this hide for me personally. Now I've often used the pop-up hide, but usually it's always just been for sitting down and I've always found that a little bit limiting because for a lot of subjects, I lie down on the ground. Uh, but this here now, ideal. I think this is just the ideal little kind of summer hide really. You know, using just a ground mat or even if it's dry on the ground, just lying down on the ground. Provides that extra cover of camouflage and a little bit of protection from the elements. Now, if you're in the US or Canada, go to photographyblinds.com if you want to pick up one of these or any of the other products from Tragopan. If you're in Europe or the rest of the world, it is tragopan-shop.com. And this is the Grouse V Plus pop-up hide. And I have to say, one of the most adaptable pop-up hides now with this new feature. Head over to the website if you want to get a hold of one of these. Catch you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.